Hi and welcome back to my channel for what seems like a while since I was here talking to you all. So welcome back and it's great to have you join me. Don't forget to, if you like this channel, like and subscribe. You can put comments below. Uh, if you click the bell, then you'll get uh, notifications of, of when I put a new video on. So lots to tell you about what's been happening the last few weeks and couple of months since I've spoke on here. Uh, been on Sewing Street a couple more times with, it's so exciting that I now take my own patterns to Sewing Street. So if you have a look on their website, they're available. I did a demo in March for a, for Rosie Rabbit. And uh, we've got the little roses here. So you can buy the patterns for those from Sewing Street. But if you want to buy, um, this is the other exciting news I've got for you today. You can actually buy these products already made up. So if you like the products, um, but you might not be a sewer, um, but you think, oh, no, they're, they're cute. Then I'm gonna get one down because I can't resist a little, a little play with rosing. Um, but you might want to buy one of these for, for a grandchild or some somebody special or just for yourself why not then you can get these on up my new website which I'm going to talk about today and show you a bit show you around it so I have a new website that's launched which is just amazing and thank you all so much we've already got a a loyal customer base on there buying you know we have a lot of face masks and hair scrunchies and just regular personal things um, and then we've got these gift things but there's also things on the website for sewers knitters and crocheters so if you like your sewing then you can buy um, our uh, patterns so there's a pattern there for Rosie Rabbit to knit her a, a little summer cardigan short sleeve cardigan so we've got a range of our patterns on there that I've designed um, there's a couple of uh, other patterns one is for a crochet you know the granny square uh, that we did uh, we did all the YouTube videos for that so there's also one of those a pattern for how to do your own granny square and I try to be really, really clear when I'm doing a pattern. So for example, this one's got the, the diagram of a granny square. So you might be the kind of crocheter um, who likes to read the pattern and reads the stitches, or you might prefer to just look at a diagram. So I like to put in both. And one thing I do with when I'm writing patterns that maybe it's different from other patterns that you, you use currently. I, when I sew, especially especially with sewing rather than knitting and crochet, because there is an, a knitting pattern on there for the pocket scarf, which also goes with the, the YouTube videos. Um, but when I sew, when I have a sewing pattern, I find it sometimes intimidating when it says at the beginning, um, cut out 32 squares and cut out 32 triangles. I, I like the cutting. I, lo I love the cutting when I'm, when I'm sewing. It's a big part of it. I mean, you can, you can actually spend more time, uh, can't you, cutting your fabrics or choosing your fabrics, selecting which ones you're gonna use for that project, finding a project you like, then once you've decided on what you're gonna do, cutting the fabrics out, pressing them, changing your uh, thread to match, um, changing your needle, cleaning your machine, all of that if you're a sewer you'll know exactly what i mean that's as much of the process as the actual sewing the sewing can sometimes seem the smallest part of all that so going back to my pattern writing the way i do it is i don't like that um process of cut this out cut this out cut this out it can put me off because i like to move so um it, i the way i make things is i cut the first few things that i need and then I'll sew them, press them, then I'll cut the next few bits, um, sew them, press them. And that's how I work. I like to be up and about and, and on. So when I get the, the, the pattern that says, cut this, cut that, cut all these pieces, it can blow my mind a little bit. Maybe you're the same, maybe you like it like that. But with my patterns, I mean, there's always a choice, isn't there? There's always a choice. You can go through that pattern and just cut the bits you need. But I write a pattern as I work, um, so that's very much right. Cut these pieces, now sew them together, press them. Now cut these pieces, sew them together, press them. Then put those two pieces together, so it builds. So if you like working in that way, 
have a look at the patterns because they might work for you. If alternatively you like cutting out in one, some people like to cut one day, don't they? Do a whole cutting section one day and then um, the next day they'll do the sewing and the next day they'll they'll quilt. You know, they, they like to, to plan it like that. Of course, you can still use do that. It's just then going through the pattern and picking out those cut bits. But I've digressed slightly. That's just how I write my patterns. So there's lots of patterns on the website, uh, lots of products. So if you choose just to think, oh, I like a rosy rabbit, I haven't got the time, or I'm not a sewer, or I don't fancy making that at the minute, I've got too many other projects on, then you can just buy finished products on the website. So there's, there's a few different sections, and I'm gonna chat about that in a minute and show you around. You can also subscribe to the email. Um, and that, if you just pop your email in, I'll show you how to do that as well, then that will subscribe you to our newsletter. We've already had one newsletter um, published. So the website's been going a couple of months now, just, just, just under a couple of months. So it's very new, it's still evolving. I mean, we're literally putting new products on every other day and certainly every week there's several products and projects going on there. So keep, keep looking out. Um, and then subscribers to our newsletter, get monthly newsletters and offers, discount codes um, to, to get money off patterns or wool. We also sell the wool, um, Stylecraft wool. So loads of things that you can look at and things for inspiration as well. And Mabel, of course, our Mabel's a big part of the business and um, she's got her own blog on there. So you can follow Mabel on her travels as have I. So, you know, if you uh, want to have a look at what goes on in, in on my day to day, then um, there's a bit more about, about what we get up to. So lots to um, tell you about. There's also a new business venture um, that I can't say too much about. It's very new at the moment, but that's coming shortly in the next week, few weeks, next month. Um, so I will be sure to, to tell you all about that on the website, uh, which is www.mabelanddeb.co.uk. Um, and of course, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So anything that's happening, I, I post on there every day. So anything that's happening, you can check in on there and see what we're getting up to. But this new venture is quite exciting. So uh, looking forward to sharing that with you in the coming weeks. So let's have a look at our new website. I'll show you around it and I'll show you how you can some can subscribe to our newsletter. Okay, so here's my, I'm on my laptop. So just open up um, the internet. And if you go across the top and type in www.mabelanddeb.co.uk and press enter. And here we are. So there's Mabel, look. So yeah, that's this is the website. So you can scroll down, this moves across. So you can use different products that we've got. More Mabel, look. She's out today, otherwise I was gonna bring her in on the video, but she's out, out and about. So this just tells you a bit about who we are um, and obviously a bit about me being on Sewing Street TV. Um, this was a recent bank holiday sale. So anything here where you see uh, latest news, if we've got a sale on, or we've got an offer on particular products or something, or something new's happening, that's where it will be in this uh, latest news section. And then you can go straight to different um, areas of the website. It's like a shortcut there. That tells you a bit about where we sell our retail products. Um, we're actually changing from that in the next week or so. So that will update. And that's a bit about us. So let's go to the top. So you can, that's the home page. Um, this is the wool that we've got. Um, and I'm just gonna show you how to navigate around this because it might look a bit confusing, I think. So let's look at the double knitting because this is the biggest range of wool we have. So if I click on this, we've got the chunky, super chunky and the double knitting. So if I click on double knitting, then it tells you a bit about the, the yarn that we supply, which as I said earlier is Stylecraft. Now I'm, I'm a seasoned knitter and I've knit and crocheted since I was a, you know, four or five, really, really young. And I love um, hand dyed yarn. I love pure wool. I love merino wool, alpaca wool. I, I love quality yarn. Do not get me wrong. 
what I find though is, uh, and my mum falls into this category, um, she doesn't want to spend a fortune on wool when she knits. It can be expensive to buy those high quality wools and I'm a, I'm a quality person. So to knit a, to knit a cardigan, you, you'll probably know this, to knit a cardigan or a jumper can cost 50, 60 pound in wool. Now it's not about the cost, because some people will say, well, I could buy a jumper for that. that. That's not the point. You don't want to buy a jumper, you want to knit one. But cost for me is, a, is an issue. Um, you know, I don't want to be spending 60, 70 pound on every single thing I knit. So I have chosen to stock a, what's the word? Not a, it's, a, a standard yarn, a standard quality yarn. So it's at the lower end in terms of quality, but do you know what? The actual quality of the yarn is amazing. So, and I wouldn't knit or crochet with anything less than a good quality yarn. So I'm just showing you this. I know I keep going off on tangents, but bear with. Um, so even though it, it is that sort of budget end of sewing, this, these are 250 a ball. So they're, they're, they're reasonably priced, I think, for a ball of wool. Um, and the quality, it's 100% acrylic, but it, the technology has moved on so much now that it is just really nice quality. I would not use it, my, sell something I don't use myself. Um, so have a look at the Stylecraft. You know, it's easy to write it off and think, oh no, but it, but it is good. So that's what I sell. I'm a, I'm a Stylecraft stockist. Um, and on the website, you can see that here I've got all the kits. You might remember the, the Granny Square kits from when I did the YouTube videos. There's my Granny Square uh, crochet pattern. So patterns and kits are also in here, but the wool itself is here. So if you click here to select your colors, you can see all my little crocheted squares there. Um, and then you can see on this page all the colours we've got. We've got 42 in our, our range at the minute. Loads. Oh, they're amazing. Look, they, I just love them. And then you can either select from here, from this drop down box, if you know the colour you want. So uh, you might choose it there. It changes the thumbnail picture. Or you could just click on the little thumbnail here and it will give you a, um, a magnified version of, of that colour. So if you're colour matching, for example, you know, if you've got a top that you want it to go with, you can put the piece of material there and, and colour match. So that's easy enough for you to see, I think. It tells you a bit about the tension, washing instructions, needle size um, of, the, of the, the wool. So you can go back just by pressing the back button and that's the same for super chunky and chunky. Um, and everything else. There's the pocket scarf. So that's the kit there that we sell. So you get enough wool uh, or yarn and the pattern in a nice little drawstring bag that we have, Mabel and Deb bag. Um, and that comes as a bundle, as a kit for you. They've been really popular. People love those um, pocket scarves. They're so comfy to wear. I mean, now's the time to be, to be knitting them really, because we tend to, perhaps not as much, knitting goes on in the summer but it's nice to get your knitting done so when the colder weather starts to come back you've got things ready so uh so that's the wool then we've got deb's products um and in here are all the different products i sell now a lot of you if you're sewers obviously you're going to be making your own things but this is just a selection of some of the things i make um so there's rosie rabbit um there's all the actual rosy rabbits the one i showed you earlier um but the pattern for that is available on sewing streets website um so all the different things i do I do a bit of um quite a few treasured memories uh items for customers now uh new babies tooth fairy cushions um memory cushions for someone who's passed using their clothes um so yeah some some really special um commissions I've been involved in on Treasured Memories, which is it's always a, an honour really. A few haberdashery items, and again, this is growing, this side of our business is growing all the time. So you can, uh, we do some fat quarter bundles, and what I'm going to be doing very soon is, so we've got some nice bundles on there at the moment. Um, so they're just packs of four um, fat quarters. And I again, I, I like the fat quarters that you buy in the shops. I like it how they can be all coordinated. So you can buy your pinks or your blues or your yellows. But I also sometimes want it to be mixed. 
Um, so I've put my bundles together so that they're a mixed fat quarter bundle so that you can make an actual project. That You see, they're all mainly reds. Uh, they're all mainly greys. But these ones, you've got the Peter Rabbit fabric and then a, a plain blue, another contrasting pattern fabric, or I'll put spots together or spots and stripes just so you can then make an actual project you know, with that fat quarter bundle rather than having to go and buy another fat quarter or a half a metre of fabric to coordinate with it. Um, I tend not to buy, and I'm sure you're the same, tend not to buy one fabric on its own. There's always two or three fabrics that go together when you're making something like this, for example. You know, you, you might buy this fabric on its own, but you're always coordinating it with other fabrics to, to set it off. So that's how I've done my fat quarter bundles. The new thing that's coming on there soon is individual fat quarter pieces because you don't always want two or three or four, complete contrast to what I've just said. You might just be looking for a particular piece of fabric that's got sheep on it to make some face masks or something. So you can just come on here in the next couple of weeks and just buy one fat quarter. Um, so yeah, look out for those, they're coming soon. Uh, other, a few other haberdashery uh, items. So we've got the felt bundles, they're the same, they're in bundles of 10 uh, pieces of felt. Um, the French knitting dolls, pom-pom makers, and then in miscellaneous you'll find things like the um, rotary cutter, uh, fiskars. See, <laughs> this is a contrast as well, isn't it? That when it comes to threads and my rotary cutters and things like that, I do love the the quality brands, which is brings me back to that style craft that I, I, I'm behind it because it is such a good quality, might not look like it. So patterns and kits um, does exactly what it says on the tin. There's all my knitting patterns and kits, my sewing patterns and kits, uh, my crochet patterns and kits. So anything you want in those three areas is there. Oh, try and get Mabel in. Well, I say we try and get Mabel in. Mabel likes to be in. Uh, we just try and capture it for you. Events and workshops. Now this is a really useful part of the site uh, that my partner sort of, he, he, he looks for all the events that are on nationally. So we're doing local events and I am going to be putting on in the very near future some workshops for variety of things, crochet, sewing, knitting. They are sort of in the pipeline at, at the minute. But what we've also put on here is a selection of events that's been held throughout the UK this year. So how nice is it that we can now go to these things in person, uh, especially when June comes and the restrictions are even more lifted. So all about the um, Festival of Quilts, uh, the Creative Craft Show. Uh, I mean, some of these, obviously check with the venues because some of them may still be either online or they may have delayed them till restrictions are lifted a bit more. Um, but yeah, lots of information about upcoming shows. So if you think, oh, what's that show happening later in the year? Um, or you're looking for somewhere to go, you can find some information here. And then any, like I say, sort of more local sewing, knitting and crochet clubs um, and groups that I'll be running will be listed there as well. So look out for them. Uh, we're based in Melton Mowbray, but we work across Leicestershire um, and wherever really. So if you're looking for a bespoke class, uh, I'm a qualified teacher and, and tutor. So if you're looking for something individual for your, maybe you've got a WI group, maybe you've got um, a knit and natter group that you're looking for some inspiration or a guest speaker, please just get in touch. You know, I'll, I'll travel anywhere, that, that's not a problem. So anything I'm doing will be on there. So you can come and see us and, and chat. I love meeting people, can't wait to do more of it. We've got some reviews there from nice happy customers which have shopped with us. We have lots of customers and they're just amazing and, and we, you know, we value them. Couldn't do any of this without you guys and our customers. So on the About and Contact Us page, this is where you can go to find out more about Mabel. So there's a little bit of a story about Mabel. I won't read it to you because it's an interesting read, she says. Um, and then you can click here and this it takes you through to Mabel's blog. So her last blog was in April. Now, believe it or not, you can't really see, but we pulled up on the drive in the car outside the house and she jumped onto the bonnet and walked up the car windscreen. And that's what that's a photo of. Look, you can see me inside the car. She, she is such an affectionate and loving cat. She's beautiful. So she's got a blog there. Uh, there she is, look, writing her blog with me. I'm her, I'm her PA. Uh, there she is, look with the gondola basket that I did on Sewing Street earlier this year. 
Uh, she, and this is why she's so integral to what we do because she just likes to be in. She's very present um, and she's always involved in something. Um, and then a bit of information about me and my blog, which is you know, perhaps not quite as, uh, as interesting as Mabel's. There I am, look, with John on Sewing Street in, was that the March show? April show, that was the April show. So that was amazing working with John. I'd not worked with him before, so that was fantastic. Um, there's me designing Rosie Rabbits. Um, and yeah, so as I say, it's very much early days with the website, which is why I wanted to show you a bit around it and, um, and introduce you to a bit more about what we do. Um, postage is 250 in order. Um, and your all, all our items are gift wrapped and we, we, we take real care with the packaging and try and make it as sustainable and recyclable as we can um, to get it to you nicely wrapped. It's like a present, isn't it? When you get some um, something delivered through the door that's crafty um, and meets all your, all your crafty and hobby needs. So that's a bit about the website. So please uh, have a look and then just subscribe to the newsletter just scoop down to the bottom of the page and if you put in here your email address um, so I'll just put Mabel and Deb at gmail.com sign up and it says oh because continue let us know you're not a robot I am not a robot oh yeah look it's like a little quiz so tick where all the motorbikes are verify um, and that, I know that can be annoying, but it's just to, that also reassures you that the site is safe. It's absolutely safe. It's got this little padlock here at the top right, um, left hand corner. So that shows you that it is safe and secure. So if you're putting in, um, you know, pay, if you're paying through Apple Pay or your Visa or debit card, that is reassurance for you that it's a safe site. So click submit and that will go through to us and we'll receive an email to show that you've been subscribed to our newsletter. It comes up there to say thanks for subscribing. So uh, then you'll hear all about more about what we're doing. So that's a whistle stop tour of the website and uh, have a look. So I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the new website. Um, don't think there's any more news happening at the moment. Told you everything that's going on right now. Um, I'll be doing some more tutorials coming up on various things. If you've got any requests for those, what you'd like to see, if you want me to see making a bag or putting a zip in or making a strap for a bag, anything that you think will be a useful tutorial, please get in touch with the comments below. Um, or you can email us at mabelandeb at gmail.com uh, and we'll get back to you. So lovely chatting with you today. Please like and subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out. That means we can just bring you more and more content. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.